God Makes a Way, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is out of Isaiah 43 and verse 2. When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43, 2. In this book, Isaiah is communicating the idea that when you and I face challenging circumstances, God does not always remove the circumstance from us. But like the children of Israel, he didn't take the Red Sea away. He parted the Red Sea so that they could go through it and walked with them through that process process and it developed them and was a part of their faith journey and a part of their development as people. Throughout history, you're going to find individuals who had to face serious challenges, but those obstacles became opportunities. Those stumbling blocks became stepping stones that allowed them to grow in exponential ways. I mean, you could think of uh, perhaps uh, Abraham Lincoln and how he faced incredible business setbacks, political failures, the death of family members, a deep battle with depression, and still became an individual that was instrumental in the history of the United States of America and the freeing the slaves. Or you think about Helen Keller, who had a dual problem of deafness and blindness, and yet became a world-changing voice and force, encouraging so many people by reading about her life and reading what she accomplished. These examples remind us that while trials come, and they may not be removed from our paths, we, they are an opportunity for us to grow. So your burdens can become a bridge that you can cross to get to that next level in life. So instead of resenting the problems that are there and getting mad at God because he didn't remove the problem, just understand the process of walking through this is going to make you into the man or woman of God that you need to be. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I pray that you'd help us to remember that even when you don't remove the problem, you do love us and walk with us through it. Thank you for making a way where there seemed to be no way. Thank you for protecting us in the midst of this spiritual pilgrimage. Keep us close together and close to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. Have a great day.